A new study from the Salk Institute for Biological Studies reveals promising details about the neuroscience of itching, and all they had to do was engineer lab mice with an endless maddening itch. Under the leadership of biologist Steve Borain, the team of researchers investigated the two types of itching. There's mechanical itching, and then there's chemical itching. For the mechanical itch, think of a feather ghosting across your skin. It stirs your body's tiny vellus hairs. Chemical itching, on the other hand, stems from allergens. Both forms of the sensation aid us in our defense against parasitic attacks. Mechanical itch tries to warn you that, hey, a mosquito's landed on your arm, while chemical itch warns you that a chemical irritant is present in the skin, uh, but could potentially be scratched away. So, as with pain, itching is important. Stubbing your toe sucks, insect bites suck, but these are necessary biological alarms. A real problem emerges, however, when the alarms go off for no reason. And that's the realm of chronic pain and chronic itching. And if chronic itching doesn't sound all that bad, just imagine a scalp itch so horrendous that you scratch through your skull and hit brain. Yeah, that actually happened once, according to a 2002 case report published in the journal Pain. In order to treat chronic itching, we have to better understand the neural pathways involved. Scientists identified the specific chemical itching neurons back in 2009, and thanks to this latest study, we now know neurotransmitter neuropeptide Y, that's MPY for short, handles the mechanical itch. But the researchers weren't sure exactly how it worked, so they bred mice without MPY to see how they'd function. As it turned out, and I know this sounds uh, kind of horrible, the mice scratched themselves constantly following mechanical itch stimulation. MPY, as it turned out, was a stop button for itching. Without it, there's no slamming on the brakes as you barrel down Scratch Mountain. Scientists still have a lot of work to do as we unravel the mystery of itching, but the newly discovered pathway brings us one step closer to effective chronic mechanical itch treatments, because no one should have to scratch down to their brain ever again. So what's your take on this study? Let us know, and hey, scratch your itch for more weird, wonderful science over at now.howstuffworks.com.